Yeah, we feel uh, we feel very confident. You know, um, we're not going to shy away from the fact that we didn't play our best football, particularly in the back end last year. Um, we're going to use that to motivate us, and uh, that's something that's remained. Um, I don't know if it's been in the back of our minds. Maybe it's been in the front of our minds. You know, and that's something that you can either. Um, you know, kind of make excuses or you can own up to it and figure out what you can do a better job of and, and use it as a motivator to get better. When you look at it, I mean, how much of it was, well, that is a legitimate reason, not just excuse, you couldn't practice much, whatever other issues, or how much was, hey, we just didn't play all that well? Uh, uh, you know, we don't want to make excuses. Obviously, there there were some extenuating circumstances last year, and, and uh, COVID made it hard to develop young players and, and, and guys that were maybe making position changes that needed a... I don't know if people really realize how important a, a full spring ball and then a chance to make corrections after spring ball and have a chance to work on some things over the summer and then have a chance to really polish those things into summer camp. You know, I don't know if, if uh, unless you're in it, how if you can fully appreciate how important that is. So, a real question about Marcus Hooker. He's back. Um, do you sense in him, you know, I've got to take advantage of this second chance, and how's he been? Hooker's been great. Yeah, he's uh, he's been great. He's been a... a uh, amongst a ton of guys that have, uh, that have done a really good job for us. Um, you, know, you guys mentioned uh, Josh Proctor and, and you know, Bryson Shaw's and other guys played really well. Marcus Hooker um, and then, you know, Marcus Williamson, Lathan Ransom, Cam Martinez, um, you know, all those guys. We've had a ton of guys. Again, I did, somebody asked that question earlier, you know, we, do you have more? We, we have more. We have a lot of guys. We've got a lot of guys playing at a high level right now. Um, so we'll see who kind of separates over the course of the next a uh, week or so, who, who can really be locked in and detailed on the game plan and, and feel like give us the best chance to execute Thursday night. How are the true freshman safeties doing? I know you guys lost Jalen Johnson, but uh, Andre Turrentine and Jansen Dunn, like, what do you expect out of them this year, maybe special teams-wise, and how are they doing so far, Matt? Yeah, it's a great group. Uh, it really is. Um, the young safeties, young corners, um, it's, a, it's a great group. They're exciting. You know, they've got a lot of ability. Um, they are learning to be more and more detailed as we go. Um, you know, flying around and really, really care. High, high, uh, high give a crap factor. Let's go with that. Um, but uh, a fun, a fun, fun group to coach. Yeah. Matt, how, how far along is Cam in far as his development? Speaking of a guy that lost a lot of time, COVID. Switching, Martinez? Yeah, switching positions, all those yeah. things. I mean, how, how far along has he come and how much further do you think he has to go to be a, a regular contributing member in the secondary? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, if, if you know Cam, you know what a what a hard worker he is and what a detailed young man he is. Um, you know, I, don't be surprised if you look up 20 years from now and Cam Martinez, the president of the United States or something. He's unbelievable. I wouldn't put anything past him. Um, he's developed extremely fast through this. Now, it wasn't, wasn't overnight, but just because of how hard he worked. And if you go back to last January, he was you know, most improved in the weight room, and, and he carried that work. He just a, He's just a grinder, man. He just gets after it every day. And... Uh, he's developed, you know, the fun thing about guys um, that don't have a ton of defensive experience, whether it's Demario McCall at corner or, or Cam Martinez at safety, they, they don't know anything better than other than just to do what you tell them to do. So they just, you tell them what to do and that's the way they do it because otherwise they have no idea what they're doing. So they pick the techniques up quickly. They work really hard at it. Um, you know, Cam's played exceptionally well. Very is he excited for, him. for a chance to return kicks or punts or anything yet? I mean, does he keep pointing to that highlight? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need to go back and rewatch that because that was he was dynamite. He was a, a touchdown every time he touched the ball in high school. So, does, great question for Coach Fleming, though. Does uh, knowing that you're going to be opening with a team that you know not only on the road but a senior quarterback, seen a lot, done a lot, does that impact you know how you go about forming that first depth chart? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as much as anything, it impacts our urgency and everything that we do. I mean, that is an extremely well coached football team. Uh, that is a very talented veteran football team that plays hard. Um, they, they do the little things right. Um, we will we will have our work cut out for us. So it's it's you know I don't know how much how much it's affected the depth chart other than to say it's 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 certainly affected our urgency and how quickly we need to, to improve and, and execute. Now when we talk about that cover safety spot, I know that guy's got to have a lot of skills there. But could you just talk about the balance there of? The ability to maybe cover a slot guy man to man, the ability to play the run, to blitz at times, to do different things. How, how do you balance the skills you're looking for at that position? Yeah, I, and again, we really are. We we'd like to be as multiple as we can be. So um, we're really again concept and technique oriented across the whole safety or the, the whole defensive backfield position. So 
um, yeah, they've got to be able to do all those things. How do you balance it? You know, I don't, I don't know. If you if you got a great recipe, I'd love to see it. But what, you know, it's it's you try to try to teach them the techniques you want. You try to you know show them where maybe something that they're doing on kickoff might carry over to how they can blitz, and and you, you try to make as much carry over in the learning and the concepts and techniques as you can. Hey Matt, when you play those those cover safety guys kind of walked up the way you do, and they have run fits. Like, how have guys like Marcus and Cam, who are you know maybe a little smaller than like Sean, who played it so well many years ago, and then Lathan kind of handled that responsibility? They've been great because um, again, th those are those are for what those guys lack in in, in size, they make up for in, in technique and in effort and toughness. Um, and you know when you're a when you're a safety, you, you know what again, what you're giving up in height and weight, you're you're gaining in quickness and and ability to maybe um, say play around a block, but but kind of navigate a block in a different way that a that six foot three, two hundred forty pound linebacker would. Is there, what, what are